there are a lot of differences. Um, the, the hours are very different, mm -hmm. um, especially being on a one-hour show. Uh, you're, and especially being the character that I, that I play, I work a lot, and there's not much downtime. I apologize to my friends and family because I don't really like have time to to talk um, in between setups because there's not really that much setup time. We gratefully on our show have four cameras, which mm -hmm. is such a blessing, but it means that we don't really have any time for um, for setups or, or getting our crap together. We just right. have to know it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I think I think on um, working on a movie. Um, you have a lot more time to just dig into things and, and really rehearse and and figure things out. And on TV, it's a much more fast-paced yeah, atmosphere. Yeah. I am a terrible memorizer. Okay. So this is actually an interesting question because um, Anna Camp, um, other people, uh, friends that I have, are they can, they can look at something, they have like photographic memory, mm. and they just know I am not that person. I have to walk around my room. I have to drink or eat something while I'm something with the left and the right brain. I have to be doing something while I memorize. Mm -hmm. So usually my fiance sits there and I we just run it and I just walk around the room. But it takes me it takes me a while and and with this show specifically, there's not much time to memorize. So um, it's it's also just knowing and being comfortable with the character and and realizing that it's okay to mess up. Mm -hmm. the, the more that I know it's okay to mess up, the better I can memorize. But if I know I can't mess up at all, then my brain freaks out. So um, it's being comfortable enough to know that I can mess up mm -hmm. in the middle. If for me, a lot of my, my, I hate the word process, or whatever it is that I, that I do before I start shooting, um, is, is just becoming the most relaxed and most confident and most like in my body I can mm -hmm. be um, because if I'm too in my head then I I tense up and I can't really relax and so the mostly it's you know it's meditation and uh, I have hypnotherapy and things like that it, for me it's all mental mm -hmm. because if I'm okay with with what's going on in my mind then I'm okay with how I am in my body and so there's little tricks and tools that I that I use but mostly it's just getting my mind right and knowing that like I'm in my body and I'm, I'm at peace before mm -hmm. I start working. That's great. You get the pressure off. Yeah. yeah. And then because like when your mind's okay, then somehow your body follows. I have to audition all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to tell everyone that I'm so used to rejection now <laughs> and I'm like, they're, they suck. Um, but I was about to say a curse word, and I didn't. Um, but um, but I don't feel like that. I, I still i am a very sensitive human. I'm extremely sensitive and extremely shy, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. And, you know, it always feels like a little bit of a rejection. But the tools that I have now and how, you know, I, I deal with it are much different than, than how I used to deal with them, where I do truly believe that it was either a learning process not meant to be or something that was getting me ready for something else. Mm -hmm. I can look back at so many TV shows that I should have gotten in the past years um, where it was down between me and somebody else and the other person got it and then they met their husband on that show. They have a baby with that person. They live in Wales now. You know, mm -hmm. like things that are so crazy where I'm like, I was not supposed to live in Wales with a baby. You know, <laughs> right. just things that I now, you know, have perspective on and that makes it easier for the next rejection because... I've been on the other side of it too, where I've directed and produced, and people can give the best audition ever, and they're so good, but it's just not the right mm -hmm. vibe, tone, mm -hmm. look, yeah, yeah. you know, anything else. Yeah, it, it's everything in the moment, but you never know how it's going to pan There's out. There's a whole bunch of things yeah. at play, and yeah. usually it has much more to do with, with everything else in the world and not just you. Mm -hmm.